For one week, Albert Park is fenced in and it creates the Albert Park Formula One circuit. I expect everyone to flock at the circuit for that weekend and go mad. Had a couple run-ins with uh, some great Australian wildlife. Snakes, normally out dirt bike riding and stuff. Spiders, I got swooped by a magpie. Sharks. Actually, most people take the tram. Most of the drivers have made their debut in Australia, including Daniel Kvyat, Lewis Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, and myself. So Melbourne's known to be the sporting capital of Australia. There's the Australian Open, the AFL Grand Final, but that's our local sport, famous Boxing Day test, a lot of good sporting events, the Melbourne Cup, the horse race, how can I forget? Turn one is the first corner. You'll see a few incidents. It's the first race of the season, so tensions are high. Everyone's trying to create a bit of a statement. And once you get a good exit out of turn four, going to the fast right-hander, which is normally full throttle. Ones I've really enjoyed in the past have been turn 11 and 12, so another set of quick corners. Going through the fast left-hander as well, it's all about comfortable on the brakes. Then arriving after the, the long straight again into the right-hander. We'll finally get to see what the 2017 regulations are going to do. Wider tyres, wider car, more downforce on the cars. Sharks, the cricket, the list goes on. Another really cool thing this year is I'll have my own grandstand. Try to set yourself up well for the last left-hander where you don't want to lock up a wheel, so try to be gentle on the brakes. Try to have a tight exit to open up the last corner and try to have a very good exit onto the main straight. Once you're done for the evening, I normally, especially in Melbourne, I like to go out and, and have a good meal. There's great food, great places to have a drink. It's kind of like the weights off your shoulders of that first race, so it's a good night to uh, unwind.